I don't think I can afford things that are as free as that. This week, Australia's biggest ever computer exhibition was held in Sydney. For three days, the display centre at Centrepoint was filled with silicon chips and floppy disks and liquid crystal display units. Now, for my money, the star of the show was this, the Fairlight Computer Musical Instrument. It's uh, $26,000 worth of electronic wizardry that's been developed over the last five years by Kim Ryrie and Peter Vogel. Peter, show us the amazing things it can do. Well, here we're using a computer to actually generate the sounds that we hear. So instead of having vibrating strings or air columns like in conventional instruments, the computer generates the sound that we want. The, the important thing is the ease with which the musician can define to the computer, this is the sort of sound I want, please make it for me. Now, to make that easy, we've created a light pen system, which is this device here, that allows you to draw directly onto this television screen the harmonic curves of right. the sound. Now, this is the picture of a sound. That's what the sound looks like to the computer, so that we know what, what sound the computer's thinking about. Would you like to show us what sound that well, is? This particular spectrum sounds like this. Right, well now how does a composer working with the CMI, the Fairlight, change that? Well I might select to change one of these harmonics, so I've taken the fifth harmonic here, and I'm just working on that curve on its own, drawing a new one. So now that curve swells up towards the end there, and I'll make the tenth harmonic do a similar sort of thing. Now when I hit the compute command here, the computer's now thinking about the curves I've drawn here and calculating the sound that if fed into a spectrum analyzer, it would look like that, and that'll sound a bit different. You can hear the higher harmonics growing in the duration of the sound. And that's the kind of experimentation that a, co a composer would engage in. But if he wanted a particular sound, the sound of a church bell or a trumpet or a violin, what does he do? Well, in those circumstances, we can simply plug a microphone into the machine and tell it, OK, computer, here's a sample of the sound that I want. See what you can do with it. So. For example, with the human voice, we can say, blah, and there's a picture of that blah. Right, so that's, that's the trace of that, and you can then put that through the, the unit? Blah, 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 blah. That's rather cute, isn't it? What about natural sounds, um, if you want to get the sound of the sea oh. built into a, um, a piece of music, something of that sort? I've got something here which is quite a good example of that. This is a a group of natural sounds which were recorded by this technique but then used in a musical sort of way and this was done by a Sydney composer who was writing a piece for an experimental theatre work which, in which the scene was someone making a cup of tea and it had to be reminiscent of making tea and also be music at the same time to fit in with the whole thing. Right. So what the machine is loading now is the sounds of making tea. We've got first of all pouring water and we'll throw the spoon in, stir it around a bit. And, and you can play those sounds like a piece of music. Right, they're pitched to the keyboard. Or you can have them simultaneously. That's rather delightful. Now the machine can do just about everything. Can it play itself as it were? Sure, that's another thing that the computer is very useful for. A lot of musicians can't play the keyboard, such as myself. And so I was forced to invent some way of doing it. And for that purpose, there's a special language called music composition language, which is very easy for a musician to use, wherein you just type in, I want you to play this particular piece on this particular instrument, that on a different instrument, and you type in each note. So you type in A, B, C, D. In and the computer does it. Way. Then the computer will play it all simultaneously. How about showing us a bit there? So type in, you've got some uh, pieces of music that in fact the computer has already learnt, is that correct? That's right. I think uh, the best thing would be is if Michael Carlos demonstrates it to you. In fact, Michael Carlos composed and played the theme for the ABC series Time Lapse entirely on the Fairlight instrument. And by our own piece of electronic wizardry, Michael is here now. Michael, as a musician, how do you feel about the Fairlight? Oh, it's very exciting. A whole new uh, possibilities and uh, avenues of approach are open to the composer. You don't feel like a technician? You feel like a musician using it? No, no, not at all. Don't feel like a technician. No, well, it's removed most of that because uh, it's a lot simpler to, to look at than conventional analog synthesizers. Show us what you can do. Play us a bit of time lapse. <laughs> 